There's an African saying that states, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. During the years I've been privileged to serve as provost, we have gone far, very far, and we've indeed gone together. Whenever I'm credited for the university's accomplishments, and I've overdosed on such accolades and approbation this afternoon, I'm profoundly aware that we accomplish these goals together. I can provide ideas and advocacy and occasionally even some funding, but none of these accomplishments would have come the reality, become the reality of the university today without the collaboration, energy, education of administrative colleagues, faculty, staff, and students. Many of you have heard me remark that beyond our official taglines of leadership starts here or previously minds that move the world, our authentic tagline is, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Emphasis on the plural, we, together. I'm not attempting to be humble or self-deprecating or modest. I work very hard and I'm proud of my contributions. But I recognize and greatly respect your expertise and your contributions. And I'm fiercely proud of your work and our work together. When we focus the inordinate intellectual power of our university community on initiatives or challenges, graduation rates, internationalization, research support, student fees, achievement gap, budget cuts, we argue through the issues and then move forward together. Such respect and collaboration sounds incredibly obvious, almost trite. But it is a distinctive and precious, very precious characteristic of San Diego State, precisely because it's increasingly rare in universities. Beyond my joy in our accomplishments, I am extremely grateful to and indebted to the people in this room. As I look around, my professional life is just flashing before my eyes. I had the great fortune to serve with two fabulous presidents, Stephen Elliott, and excellent vice presidents, especially Sally, the vice president I serve with the longest. The Academic Affairs Central Administration, Kathy, previously Ethan, and Edie, previously Bonnie and Dean, Sandra, Al, and their extraordinary staffs are all talented, smart, hardworking, and gratefully tolerant of my numerous idiosyncrasies you heard about today. From my office, Margie, preceded by Julianne and Maureen, together with Grace, planned this entire event. In addition to their normal responsibilities and significant duties, they even made the centerpieces. <laughs> Thank you. I thank the department chairs, our wonderful AS execs, the faculty, and the faculty leaders, particularly the Senate officers I've worked with, who listen to me grumble and grouse about all matters of things, and then strategized effective with, effectively with me to figure it out, and the deans. <laughs> I work closely with the deans, sometimes on an hourly basis, and they're creative and amazing. And some of them, as you saw today, others suddenly had to go off and give keynote addresses, but some of them are very brave. <laughs> the deans support me and one another. Again, a rare attribute. Their ideas and knowledge and commitment have made me a better provost and San Diego State a better university. Frequently, I'd put forth some concept, and the deans would look aghast. <laughs> or they'd present some astonishing project that was far beyond what I'd been contemplating. we discuss and debate an email, and then usually conclude, OK, let's, let's try that. And off we went, often literally pursuing ambitious initiatives that have increased the university's reputation nationally and internationally. Finally, I thank my husband, Fred Kolkhorst. We've been married almost 24 years, 
at that at the time we were married, there were few women in academic administration, and serious marital problems were predicted if a man were the trailing spouse, particularly if the woman earned more. I recall being concerned enough that early in our relationship, I actually broached this topic with Fred. You know, I will probably be earning more money. Fred's immediate response, so quintessentially Fred, was, more money, that would be great. <laughs> Fred has always been my staunchest advocate. He's kept me from taking myself too seriously. He's my true love. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> Let me close by quoting a passage from the acknowledgement of Alice Walker's magnificent collection of essays, In Search of Our Mother's Gardens. This passage has been my personal psalm of gratitude for many years. I read it at our wedding. I included it when I was the keynote convocation speaker the year I arrived at San Diego State, and I'd like to share it with you today. Quote, in my development as a human being, I have been, it seems to me, extremely blessed, even while complaining. Wherever I've knocked a door is open, wherever I've wandered a path has appeared. I have been helped, supported, encouraged, and nurtured by people of all races, creeds, colors, and dreams. And I have, to the best of my ability, returned help, support, encouragement, and nurture. This receiving, returning, or passing on has been one of the most amazing joyous and continuous experiences of my life, end quote. You have been the ones who have opened such doors. You have enabled paths to appear. You have supported, encouraged, and nurtured me. For this, I will be forever grateful. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.